I feel this is a very good time to come to you. Because now it's been a few weeks uh, since the retreat ended in Rishikesh. We are now back in Portugal, as you can see. And as is typical around this kind of time, uh, after retreats, after intense periods of introspection and uh, spiritual um, immersion, right about now and earlier, the mind will start to just come with its strong, strong counterattacks, strong attacks, strong doubts, strong pressures. It will start to throb inside. I say this to you <coughs> because you have not lost anything. Many people who come each year to intensives and retreats, very many of them, they come. If you have been inside a retreat for, you know, a few days or a week or so on, for sure, you have had the darshan of God. You have had the darshan of truth. It has touched something inside you. It has awakened something inside you, and it has. It is calling you back into the heart of being. And because of the directness and the powerfulness, the potency of that inner call, there are forces that operate in the world and certainly inside the human mind and psyche that are going to be on the attack against this. You all know it. We all know it. So each year, or after each retreat, or intensive period of satsang, there comes a, a, a storm. It is almost predictable that the storm will come and the forces will come in the form of doubt, in the form of mind. Why does it come also? It comes because there still remain within us the potential, the capacity and the potential, to deviate or to be distracted from your heart's truth and to be pulled into the noise of personhood again. So you are going to have to dig deeper. You are going to have to hold firm to what not only what I have pointed and what you have heard, but what you have experienced and what you have seen, but that there exists within you a very powerful space that is completely still unconquerable, unchallengeable, which is infinite, timeless, imperishable, you see. And this is what your life, it, what your heart is beating for, what the real urge, the real desire in the life of a human being is to discover this. You are in the discovery of this. And that's why these, these assaults, these attacks are going to come. Don't think like the mind would like, and that the, these attacks are coming because you are on the wrong path. The attacks are coming because you are on the right path. Because you are on the right path. And sometimes you are this close, you see, to sealing your, uh, confirming your realization. This is why forces have come to sabotage your opportunity for freedom. And let me tell you, they will come. They came for me. They came for every liberated being, every Buddha, every Christ, every Krishna, every Rama, every Prophet Muhammad, everyone. They have come, and they will come for you. Okay. Once you have conquered them, and how will you conquer them? Not by fighting with them, but by remaining true, remaining in the heart of truth. This is what you are pointed. I have not put swords in your hands and guns and bullets and machetes. I have said simply, remain with God. Remain in the true. Remain only as the witness. Don't get identified with these forces. How do they work, these forces? What is their success rate? Why are they so good at distracting seekers 
from completing their realization. Why are they so effective? I will tell you why they are so effective. Because they strike always to the person in you and the capacity in you to be diverted from your divinity and go back into personhood. They will call you, but they will always be calling the person in you. They will raise up doubts, because only the person can be doubt. Only the person can doubt. Only the God in you is without doubt. They will strike at the doubt, at, at resistances. They will show you, oh, you're, you're gambling your life away. You're giving it, you're surrendering to some guy. You're not surrendering to some guy. You're surrendering to the Almighty Power, which is all-pervading, imperishable, everlasting, eternal, true, full of love, complete. You're surrendering to your completeness. So don't fall here. Fall earlier. When you are beginning, but don't fall now. Now you have the advantage because you are discovering that your real self is not at some distance from you. It is here. It is not any physical distance from you. It is only a question of subtlety. You see? You are here. The mind wants you to be here, to be there. But you are here. What is it that is here? It has no form. It is not the body that is here. Because you are here, the body is here. It is not because the body is here, you are here. It is because you are here, the body is here. And everything else is here. Okay? So you must confirm this. You, consciousness. Consciousness in its dynamic expression as the pure presence or the sense I am. Watch this feeling I am in you. Don't give it to the mind, because the mind will convert it into a person. It is not a person. It is the presence of God. And if you hold to this, what you have seen, not a teaching, I'm not teaching you and learn, I'm pointing you so you discover. And when you discover, you will see for yourself that no force on earth or in heaven can move you, because you are not an object to be moved. In order to be swayed or to be distracted, you have to become something that is distractible. You have to be the mind. You have to be a form. You have to identify. But you are that which watches identification and the tendency to identify. You are behind all of this. But nobody can find you here because you are not the form. And yet you are not dead. You are the source of life itself. You are watching life. But also you get the you get the <coughs> you get the the sense and the experience of um, participating in life, and at the same time you are life, and at the same time you are the witness of life. You see, these are not things you have to do. Forget about doing anything. Rest only as the self, the the purest place where observing of the world, including the, the this body. And the conditioning and the programming that is operating and functioning in this body, that they are also perceived from a space behind, you can say behind. <coughs> and that space is the space of the self. So I am telling you again, all of you who participated in Rishikesh or in any other retreat, with me or anyone, anyone who is on a genuine search for the truth, please pay attention to this. Play this video over and over again. You see, saturate your heart with it, your mind with it. Swallow it, eat it, digest it, assimilate it. Be free in it, because it is only here to serve your freedom. Your mind has been with you for a very long time. It doesn't want to part company, and it need not part company. It has to be purified. It has to become natural mind again. It is very unnatural mind at the moment. It is too personal. And because of the tendency and the habit to be personal, the impersonal comes into suffering. And that's what many of you are experiencing. And I don't want to see any of you fall, because if you fall down, if you deviate now, it's going to be more difficult to come back on the path. This is a path that is not path of miles or kilometers here. Is a path of subtlety, of understanding, of surrender, of insight. And everything is now. 
you see like this okay so please be reassured please be encouraged please be empowered by what I'm pointing you to because I'm not telling you go over there and do I'm saying stay right here 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 let the body go but you are always here stay here be present be the stillness in the storms of the mind and it will pass as all things born of time and shape passes if you follow me you will discover you are that everlasting one that never passes you never pass you witness the sense of time the play of time is nothing for you but time says everything that you perceive through your mind and the senses passes everything belongs to me I eat them everything and I will eat you if you don't find your true nature I will consume you I am a cancer that will consume you from inside but you find this truth that I'm pointing to you don't have to go to the library or even the temple there's a temple here sit inside the cave or the temple of your own heart in the place that I've pointed you to and if you're new to this and you're watching this video go and watch some of Rishikesh go and watch any of the videos because they are all pointing you to the same place in you so you stay here stay here for the love of truth for the love of God for the love of life for the love of self you must defeat this this stupid enemy in fact stupid enemy you see because it only derives its strength from your belief and your identity and distraction and interest so remain as you are and at every opportunity come and uh, follow the satsangs don't think because you're watching on a screen I don't have enough power no no it, it, it is there through the screen the consciousness is working through the screen also it is it is encouraging the heart don't be distracted by the mind stay as you are okay so all power to you the full blessing of the Holy Spirit of truth uh, firm you up and make its presence known in you and this will somehow the mind has to your psychological personal mind has to become afraid of you you see it has to be it's a bit afraid of me and this is why it is always attacking at my at whether muji is authentic whether it's true and always looking for something why because the te the pointing is so powerful i'm not asking you believe 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 i'm saying follow look see confirm so these attacks will come and it will attack any true seeker if you're not a true seeker the mind doesn't have to attack you you're already in its fold but because you are on the way to success you will experience these doubts and these things so all power to you all grace to you all love to you stay with this don't be distracted by foolishness by gossips and all of these nonsenses okay you be the one uh, that wins yourself back namaste